The next knot will be the square knot. In order to tie a square knot, I need to take the left end of my rope, as identified with this yellow piece of tape, and place it over the right side of my rope. Looping through like I was tying my shoes and pulling some of the slack out. Ensuring I still keep a large loop in the center. I take that same yellow piece of tape and go right over left. Again, looping through like I was tying my shoes to create two interlocking bites in the center of the rope. I need to make sure that I, the both ends of the rope go through each end of the bite and that they're not 50-50. In order to secure this knot, I need to tie a double overhand on either end of this rope. Again, grabbing the rope with one hand sticking my thumb out. Wrapping around my thumb two times, creating an X, and going to the back side of the X. Dressing and loading the knot to ensure there's an X on one side, railroad tracks on the other, and then I'll do the same thing to the other side. Again, creating a fist with my thumb sticking out. Wrapping over my thumb twice to create an X on one side. Removing my thumb and placing my working end through that loop. Dressing and loading the knot. In order to take the slack out of the center of the rope, I need to pull on the loop from either end so that both safety knots sit flush up against the square knot in the center. When I'm done, I should have an X on either side of the safeties, my railroad tracks on one side, my bites with both ends of the rope going through the center of them, and ensuring my tail length is not more than 2 to 10 inches.